हेलो एवरीवन यू आर आर वेलकम टू लेक्चर नंबर 1252 एंड फिफ्टी टू एंड टूडेज टॉपिक इज इन कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ कन्फर्मेशनल एनालिसिस ऑफ एलिसाइकली कंपाउंड्स एंड इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर आई हैलरेडी डिस्कस लॉट ऑफ डिटेल्स ऑफ एलिसाइकली कंपाउंड्स एंड द एलिफेटिक नेचर ऑफ कार्बन टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द कन्फर्मेशन ऑफ साइक्लोहेक्जेन एलिसाइक्लिक कंपाउंड एंड इट्स डिस्पोजिशन टू स्टेट फार्म इन द फार्म ऑफ बोट और इन द फार्म ऑफ शेयर कन्फर्मेशन एंड हाउ दिस बॉन्ड्स दे आर गोइंग टू प्ले द इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल टू डिटरमाइन द स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ साइक्लोहेक्जेन मालिक्यूल and before that if you remember i mentioned that for small rings like cyclopropane and cyclobutane uh, bears strain theory was given and according to that theory uh, that why small rings are unstable it was because of angle strain and i gave the method of calculation of angle strain and the reasons but <laughs> he failed to explain and he mentioned that was the limitation of bears strain theory that for larger ring like cyclohexane cycloheptane cyclooctane cyclolonane uh, it is not possible uh, to synthesize and to exist in stable form because his assumption was that all these molecules they are planar and he failed to understand that uh, these larger rings like cyclohexane cycloheptane octane nonane they assume a uh, twisted form that is called pucker nature and that twisted form means the arrangement of molecule within the space that is called conformation so here in the case of cyclohexane the very important uh, shape a twisted form is mainly either boat form and chair form and when there is boat and chair form again uh, the arrangement of atoms in those uh, conformations either they are axial or equatorial axial means when any atom of substituent it is towards axis vertical line then it is considered as axial bond and once it is towards equator a uh, horizontal perpendicular that is called equatorial bond so how the equatorial and axial interactions are going to play the role of determining the stability of cyclohexane molecule for example here cyclohexane is like this so once we are writing over this white black board it looks like that all the six carbon they are on the same plane but it is not like that it is going to exist either in this form that is called boat form and other one is this is called chair form so this is your boat conformation Both conformation of cyclohexane. This is your both conformation of cyclohexane, and this is your chair. Chair conformation. Of cyclohexane. and the other possibilities are also there uh, that is twisted form half board then one fourth so many different type of uh, twisted element is there but mainly we had these two uh, conformations of cyclohexane and now here we have to uh, discuss uh, the axial and equatorial bond because it is having this position one hydrogen is like this it is called axial one is like this 
it is called equatorial in the same way uh, it is called axial and it is called equatorial also like this like this and like this and like this so those which are vertical towards axis is axial and the one which is uh, perpendicular towards equator is called equatorial bond so these two conditions are there of the formation of bonding same in the chair form axial equatorial and here numbering is in the board like this one two three and uh, four and here one two three four five and six three four one two here one this is two uh, this is three this is four this is five and this is six carbon so here the question comes when we have two conformation of cyclohexane boat and four chair form which one will be more stable and in which case the axial axial interaction will be less that will determine the stability so if you see here in the case of boat form where the axial uh, hydrogens are there or substituents are there if suppose in place of methyl group is there in place of hydrogen so it will be uh, one four dimethyl axial interaction or that is called one four uh, interaction and the distance between one four carbon from here to here is called flag pole hydrogen it is called flag pole hydrogen and what is flag pole hydrogen those hydrogens we, which are present at carbon 1 and carbon 4 and they are separated by a distance of 1.83 angstrom that is called flag pole hydrogen and this flag pole hydrogen interaction axial diaxial interaction is very important because it is going to contribute to the instability and crowding in both form and it shows that in both form the substituents they are putting more stress more angle strain and once they are crowded the stability is less because of flag pole hydrogen interaction and that is the reason that's why the boat farm is unstable because it is having a lot of pronunciation strain crowding and the substituents are close but in the case of chair form conformation such type of torrential strain angle strain substitution strain is not there because they are little bit far away in the space so that is the reason that's why in the case of cyclohexane Confirmation 98% confirmation it is in uh, chair form. Now, in when we are talking of chair form, in chair form there is one three di axial interaction. This is very important interaction in the case of shear uh, form also that is called one three diaxial interaction and because of this one three diaxial interaction means two of the substituents at axial position that is at carbon one and carbon three that brings instability and that's why uh, the substituents they don't prefer to one three rather than they prefer one four because of this diaxial interaction so here diaxial interaction is like this like this it is carbon 1 carbon 2 and carbon uh, 3 4 5 and 6 so here 
if there is Mithai Guru and here there is Mithai Guru. So these two are axial. And this is also axial. So this condition where the substituents methyl group as linked to carbon 1 and carbon 3 in chair form of conformational cyclohexene uh, is known as 1,3 diaxial interaction and it will be towards unstability because this uh, conformation uh, is not uh, favorable of such type of uh, one three diaxial interaction that is a repulsion and I am going to show you all the images. So here in this shear form of conformation of cyclohexyl very clearly the axial and equatorial hydrogens are shown the ones which are towards axis vertical line red ones they are axial and the one which are horizontal they are uh, equatorial bonds. These are the three conformations of cyclohexane. One is chair form, second one is board form and third one is that is called twisted form. It can be uh, half board form, one fourth board, board form, 70 percent, 60 percent, 40 percent board form or chair form. So different type of twisted forms are uh, cyclohexane conformations are there. But the most uh, favored and stable one are uh, board and chair conformation of cyclohexane. Here very clear picture is given uh, the arrangement of the molecule in the space that is conformation. One is in chair form, other one is board form and how the uh, red and black balls are showing the bond formation uh, of carbon and hydrogen and they are in axial and equatorial position and showing the crowding in uh, board form and less crowding in chair form. Here I am showing in the image the 1, 3 diaxial interaction in cyclohexane chair form and that 1, 3 diaxial interaction uh, is giving uh, unstability. It is not preferred because of the uh, crowding and uh, repulsion. Here in this board form very clearly under the circle of red two hydrogens one hydrogen is at carbon one another one is at carbon four and here it is written that one four diaxial interaction and this one four diaxial interaction is called uh, the hydrogens are called flake pole and the distance between these two hydrogen is one 0.83 angstrom. Here, one, four, two hydrogens are shown in red color, and there it is written uh, that is flake pole hydrogen, and they are separated by 1.83 angstrom, and that is called flake pole hydrogen uh, interaction. And if question is asked sometimes in exam, what do you mean by? flake pole hydrogen. In that case, you have to give the answer that uh, the two hydrogens we are separated by 1.83 angle distance at carbon 1 and carbon 4 in uh, both form of conformation of cyclohexane is called flake pole hydrogen and they play a very important role in uh, crowding and interaction and making both form unstable. So with this I will stop. Thank you very much for watching the lecture.